When treating patients at the hospital, providing the best possible care is always the priority. However, infection prevention and control to prevent hospital-acquired infection is another very important task. The need for infection control is obvious when treating patients with influenza, measles or other contagious disease. These patients should be isolated in single rooms where possible to avoid spread of disease to other patients and staff. Some pathogens are airborne, while others spread through direct contact between patients and staff or via contaminated surfaces. In practice, infection controls include, for example, proper clothing, hand disinfection and use of disposable air pumps. Sometimes, mouth guards or dedicated staff may be needed as well. When patient has an acute contagious disease, the need for infection control is initiative and easy to remember. Also, when insufficient, the consequences in terms of other patients and staff getting ill are very obvious. In contrast, the spread of antibiotic resistance within hospitals is often unnoticed. For example, Intestinal bacteria can easily be transferred between patients sharing the same bathroom through the faecal oral route. The patient who acquired the really resistant pathogen is at risk of difficult to treat infections weeks or months later, but then it will be very difficult to realize the connection. Screening cultures can be used to detect spread of resistant bacteria, but it's often only used in outbreak situations. Instead, the practical approach is to treat every patient as if he or she carried resistant bacteria. The basic measures of washing your hands and use contact precaution as well as proper cleaning is usually enough to prevent spread of resistant bacteria between patients. This is all very simple, but unfortunately it's often neglected. In some settings, the bottleneck may be lack of disinfectant or other materials or personal. In our hospital, the challenge is rather to make all people involved in patient care, healthcare personnel, including doctors, nurses and other staff, to always do what they know they should. Also, when the patient has no sign of contagious disease or resistant bacteria. This is highly cost effective in the long term and is fundamental to provide our patients with high quality and safe health care.